Hey guys, not a bad spot, right? Well, I'm here, oh good, the sun. I'm here in uh, Bimini Bay, Bimini Bahamas. And um, I'm doing this video because I've had Willard for a year. What's interesting about this watch is that about a month ago, I bought my Black Bay Pro. And I've been contemplating about, does this make the perfect one watch collection? And I'm going to admit that it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty close. If I had bought it on the stainless steel oyster bracelet, most likely I would probably say yes. But since that was going to be around water, boats, fishing, diving, snorkeling, spear fishing, not really spear fishing, but man can dream. I wanted to see if I still had the same feelings for the Willard that I did a whole year ago. And the answer to that is absolutely, I do. I didn't think I would, uh, I, you know, I really took it on this trip because I took this watch, the Willard and the BB Pro on the trip because I wanted to, you know, test to see if I would stop wearing it and just throw on the BB Pro. And the reality is I really enjoyed wearing my Willard here on the beach and swimming in the waters and the pools. And one of the things I really noticed about this watch that I didn't notice before was that I caught myself using the bezel a lot. And as you guys know, on the BB Pro, the bezel is fixed. It's a 24 hour bezel that's fixed. Um, as opposed to the 60 minute bezel on the Wheeler. Now, granted, I, I brought the watch to see if I was gonna sell it uh, later on, but uh, honestly, no, this is a keeper. And it just goes to show you that sometimes you need a watch for one occasion and a watch for another. So I found myself actually taking off the wheeler at night and throwing on the BB Pro because I found the BB Pro a little bit more of a dress your watch, if you will. The Willard is a difficult watch to pull off when wearing a sports coat or just dressing nice. It works very well in this type of environment where, you know, everybody's in beachwear 24 seven. But uh, when you actually get dressed, let's say when I get back to Miami, I won't, I won't be wearing, I'll be wearing my BB Pro. So the Willard definitely has a place in my collection and Slowly but surely, I've been realizing that many of the watches that I do own, um, I could just sell because I am figuring out exactly what I need, something that I should have done many, many years ago. And now going on 35 plus watches, the reality is um, I'm trying to get down to six. And I think I know what six I'm gonna go for. For sure, the Willard is one. The second one is the BB Pro. The other four are kind of sort of still in uh, in the works. And, um, well, actually not really. I do have the Casio G-Shock 5610, which is the ultimate beater watch, which I love. But back to the Willard. It's been a whole year. And before I got the BB Pro, I'm going to say that the Willard took about 75% of my wrist time. Granted, I have taken it off the bracelet uh, most of that time because, frankly, the, the Seiko bracelet, it's worth not getting it. It really is. Just go to Uncle Seiko or go to Strap Coat and buy one of their bracelets. You'll be happier with it. Uh, it's it worth the $300 and it's worth the extra $300. So I'd suggest uh, just get the, um, the Willard with a black rubber, which I have from Uncle Seiko the Tropic Strap. I also bought myself NATO rubber strap, which works really good with this. But uh, for this trip, I wanted to keep it on the stainless steel bracelet since I really haven't been wearing it on the stainless steel bracelet. 
And to be honest with you, um, I like I like my watches or bracelets. And this watch specifically works extremely well on a bracelet. I just wish the taper would have been from 20 to 16 to 20 to 18 like it is. So a year on, the Willard, it's a keeper. Uh, it's Everybody asks me about this watch. I have a lot of my friends here that were yacht masters. They were uh, submariners. And everybody asks me about the Willard. So when they ask me about it, I take it off. I let them put it on. They really, really love the look of the Willard. And uh, I think uh, Seiko has done a beautiful job with it. And they now have a couple of different uh, versions of this one. Um, I personally like the original, like the black dial. And uh, they have the green dial, which a lot of people dig, but not for me. I don't think it has the legs to go, but the black dial always has the legs to go. Okay, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, my rant about the Wheeler. And I'm hoping that you probably were enjoying the view and a little bit jealous. If you can make it down to the Bahamas, come to Bimini, come to Bimini Bay. It's a beautiful place. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Bimini Bay, but I just want to say it's uh, it's gorgeous here, and it really uh, once in a while, oops, once in a while, you need to get away. What better place? Until the next one.